Hi, my name is Konstantin Magnus. In this tutorial, we are going to create a piece of abstract art in Houdini. It will uh, create these random patterns and we can, again, change everything we see. So let's just start with a fresh scene. And while there are several ways to create random points, I would choose the attribute randomize. For cosmetic reasons, I will set the attribute name to P because essentially we are creating point positions and I want 30 points and we would disable the Z axis. So it's a flat piece of geometry ranging between minus one and one. If you enable the world grid, you can see that we're now centered around the world's zero and we can put in a dollar ff which is a floating frame for the rotation axis z now let's connect this using a voronoi adjacency node and the funny part is that if we rotate it it will um yeah well you could see as soon as we create a winding number um, onto a grid that it will readjust every time. So let's choose a size of one by one and activate the pattern. And you can see it's a little bit big. So we will scale down the global scale to 0.5 and the resolution of the grid can be 1024. So that should be a decent resolution. And next we want to calculate the winding number and you should also hover over the um, input points so you see you can choose an occlusion mesh and we will set this to 2d in the xy plane so this should fit and we can disable the back face tinting and now we can, should analyze next what's coming up in our geometry spreadsheet and we can see that we have a winding number sitting between roughly speaking minus three to positive three so the color adjust node should be set accordingly we will use the remap attribute and a color ramp is what we want you can choose different styles and we should refer to the winding number so that way you get these colors and now you would adjust the range we can say computed or we can play with this now you can either drag out some colors you don't like or choose some pattern that you find attractive. Now let's see what happens when we hit play. We get new variants every time. Um, this is recalculating the winding numbers, which again create these color patterns. So as soon as you see something, you can just either stop playing with the rotation or change the number of points. Thank you for watching.